Not every celebrity relationship is as perfect as it seems. Some of these are built on a lot of lies, some even ruined other people's lives, and some are just straight up messy. In today's video, we bring you some of the couples who are definitely not the definition of couple goals. Ham so Won and Tian Hua Although Ham so Won has been a TV personality and an actress for a long time, she gained fame and recognition for an entirely different reason. In 2018, it was reported that Ham so Won is on her way to tie the knot with Tian Hua, who was also 18 years younger than her. It was reported that Tenhua's family is quite wealthy as they own a large farming business in Harbin in China. Tenhua is also a former idol trainee who went to South Korea to pursue his dreams, but when he met Ham so Won, he was focusing on running a website that sells clothes. At the time of their wedding, Ham so Won was 42 years old and Tenhua was 24. According to reports, the couple met through a mutual friend and Tenhua fell in love at first sight. Tenhua shared with an undisclosed Korean news outlet that he initially thought Ham so Won was in her 20s but finding out her real age didn't change the fact that he still wanted to marry her. Ham so Won shared, On the first day we met, he asked me if he can take care of me. I thought he was joking. We dated every day for a month. He then proposed to me and I accepted. When Ten Hua broke the news to his parents about wanting to marry Ham so Won, his parents were initially against it due to the big age gap between the two, even going as far as threatening to disown Ten Hua, but they eventually changed their minds. It didn't take long until their seemingly perfect marriage turned bad. In April of 2021, the married couple got into a pretty big scandal and haven't managed to escape the allegations and rumors to this day. The public's perception of the couple changed when a netizen came out and accused Ham so Won of fabricating her husband's family background. At that time, Ham so Won and Ten Hua were consistent guests on a show, Taste of Wife, which documented lives of different families. The first thing people deemed strange was that the couple's luxurious home in Guangzhou was just a property on rental lease that went for about $2,000 a month. Ham so Won's in-laws owned a holiday house, which has been found out to be an Airbnb rental, since not only the furniture is the same as the one on the listing, but the website even says that a Korean television show came to film at the location. This wasn't the first time the couple was exposed. A while before, netizens suspected that Taste of Wife was scripted once the couple's daughter faced a sudden high fever and they had to rush to the hospital. Somehow, cameras were already set up in the hospital and in the doctor's room as well. As a result of all the accusations of the couple being liars, Ham so Won and Ten Hua left Taste of Wife but didn't get give any explanation regarding the controversy. The couple have also been allegedly preparing for their divorce, as a source close to the couple claimed that the relationship between the two deteriorated and they wanted to go their separate ways. The close acquaintance shared, My understanding is that Ten Hua decided to split from Ham so Won and recently has been preparing to leave South Korea. His mother-in-law attempted to repair the relationship, but it didn't work. Ham so Won responded to these rumors, claiming that she has nothing to say, as couples can have good relationships and bad relationships. As if that wasn't already Ready enough, Chen Hua was accused of faking his entire background and identity, changing his name twice, and not actually being a wealthy person. There hasn't been any major news since the controversy broke out back in April of 2021, so who knows what their relationship is like now. Tion Su and Eli Gim If there are any fans of second generation K-pop artists watching this video, then they will surely remember Eli Gim, who was a former member of U Kiss and his controversial marriage. Back in 2017, it was revealed that Eli Gim married his wife, Tion Su, all the way back in 2014 without telling his parents about their marriage. Well, one of the reasons could be the 11-year age difference between Eli and Jion. His parents were initially strict against the marriage, but have warmed up to Jion over time. After just six years of marriage in November of 2020, Eli shared that he and Jion will go their separate ways while he returns to the US and Jion stays in Korea with their son, Michael. Eli said, I have some news I would like to share with all of you. My wife and I have decided to separate. Though I am unable to see Michael at the moment, I will go to see him whenever I can and try my hardest to be the father figure that he needs. I apologize that things ended this way. Since the news about their divorce came out, the situation got even worse. A few months after, in March of 2021, Jion revealed something that shocked the whole nation. When Jion appeared on the show Kang Ho Dong's Rice Heart, she revealed to the public that all these years they had been putting on a show and she called her and her ex husband a show window couple. She confessed that when the news about their divorce was made public, she felt relieved that she no longer had to act like a happy couple in front of people. Since they appeared in a lot of programs for couples, the couple had no choice but to pretend like everything was fine. However, Jion shared that their relationship was so bad and dysfunctional that she would cry whenever she would think about those times. Jion shared a lot more secrets about their relationship, one more shocking than the other. The actress confessed the true reason why they decided to go their separate ways. Once their work offers in Korea stopped, they decided to move to the United States, and since Jion didn't have the right documents to get her visa, she headed back to South Korea alone to get what she needed. That's when 
when Eli called her from the States and said that he wanted to get a divorce. Things got even more complicated when Eli decided to give up his South Korean citizenship since he previously had dual citizenship. Jeon shared that Eli kept delaying the documents and proceedings needed for the divorce to be fully carried out, which caused her a lot of stress, not to mention that her son Michael was all the way in the States and she wasn't able to see him for months. All of this caused Jeon's mental health to deteriorate and the actor shared that at one point she thought about taking her own life, but the thought of her mother stopped her from doing so. Another shocking story that Jeon shared was that at one point, her mother-in-law once ran off with her money, despite Eli's family being portrayed as wealthy with a huge three-story house in Virginia and a large-scale Korean restaurant in the States. She had been also paying for Eli's car loans after he purchased a luxury car. She still has at least seven years to pay off her ex-husband's debts. Despite everything that happened, at the beginning of May of 2022, Eli and Jeon were seen seriously considering living together again two years after their divorce, as they appeared on the show We Got Divorced 2. Eli also shared that he would like to stay with his son Michael or Min Su, but revealed that he couldn't ignore the complications with his visa or the fact that he has to financially support his family. Netizens have eagerly expressed their wishes for the couple to stay together for the sake of their son's happiness. Go Hyun Jung and Chung Yong Jin. This couple is seriously the definition of messy, and I can't help but feel really bad for Go Hyun Jung because of what she had to go through. Debuting in the entertainment industry in 1989 as a Miss Korea runner-up, she went on to star in Sand Glass in 1995, which is deemed as one of the highest rated and critically acclaimed dramas in Korean television history. The year 1995 was a life-changing year for Go Hyun Jung. She was at the peak of her career, and she also married Chung Yong Jin, the vice chairman and CEO of Shin Sege Group, a South Korean department store franchise, and the grandson of Samsung founder Lee Byung Chol. The same year, the actress retired from the entertainment industry to fully focus on her marriage. But this marriage came crashing down after eight years in 2003 when the news of the couple getting divorced was released to the public. Their divorce quickly became controversial due to the severity of it. It was speculated that the actress was treated extremely poorly by her in-laws because of her low upbringing, and they even allegedly talked in English around her so Go Hyun Jung wouldn't understand what they were saying. Throughout the eight years of marriage, Go Hyun Jung gave birth to two children, a son and a daughter. But once the couple proceeded to go through with their divorce, Go Hyun Jung lost the custody of her children. Their tragic story gets even worse. Two years after their divorce, Shin Sege announced a ruling which stated that none of the department stores would be allowed to display and hold any advertisements or materials related to Go Hyun Jung, including her product endorsements as well. Even to this day, you wouldn't find anything related to Go Hyun Jung in any of the department stores. When Go Hyun Jung did a pictorial for Lancome products, the Shin Sege department store somehow managed to use a different model to be the face of the promotional Lancome poster. Go Hyun Jung still can't meet her children, and she uses acting as a way to allow her children to see their mother either on TV or in cinemas. I mean, this is really heartbreaking. In an interview, Go Hyun Jung brought up the rumors of her in-laws allegedly speaking a different language to make her feel left out. The actress said, I've heard people say that my in-laws spoke in English around me, but that's completely untrue. They are well-educated people and would never ostracize people in such a childish way. Still, even though these rumors weren't true, Go Hyun Jung still lost her contact with her children, and she has been basically banned from one of the biggest Korean department stores. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye.